my friends and channel subscribers Greg here from Brisbane Australia with another uncut unedited no bull video today I would like to talk about weight health and role of exercise in both right so what I would like to start with is basically exercise that we do then kind of tie it a little bit to weight and then come back and say well weight is not everything it's a huge part of health but I would like to talk about how exercise benefit your health before I start can I plus ask you a big favor can you please subscribe to my channel hit like and hit the bell uh, icon so you won't miss any of my future videos let's start with um, sport or exercise and weight loss it feels like everyone has spoken to or majority of people that are spoken to exercising for weight loss I'm sorry it's wrong way to do so losing weight is important and crucial to do not in the gym it's more crucial not to starve yourself and I'll create a separate video on how we are gaining weight why we're gaining weight and how not to gain weight or lose weight right however if you still decide that exercise is the best way for you to lose weight there's a remember there's a two types of exercises anaerobic exercise and aerobic exercise aerobic exercise it's slow pace exercise what happens during slow pace exercise during slow pace, pace exercise oxygen comes in the body oxidizes fat deposits and get energy from fat deposits during faster exercises the demand on energy is way higher and it will ask for glucose this is why most of the athletes drinking electrolytes and sweet drinks during the long races because body cannot fast oxidize fat deposits and statistically if your heart rate during exercise above 120 beats per minute there's a very little fat oxidation going on most of the energy comes from breaking down glucose it's not a clean burn it's not a good burn and this is why we cannot exercise at high pace um, long periods of time but we can do slow paced exercise for long periods of time they're most beneficial they're not as damaging they really good for weight they're really good for many things so if you still go into gym and you believe that your main purpose going to gym or exercise for weight loss slow paced exercise best thing for you second reason why people go into gym or exercise for health it's reducing your risk of heart disease heart is a muscle the moment we exercise the rest of the muscles in the body we likely to exercise hard we make it beating fast and we make it to supply more blood to other organs this is why it's so important to have more muscles in the body not only we will support our bone structure and and body movement we also will supply that blood with exercise it's like if you think of of your of your heart as yourself when you're not exercising at all and then suddenly you go into gym you feel unfit right so same with heart if we're not exercising heart and suddenly we give it task to beat faster your heart is almost not capable of doing so it is important to exercise um heart almost every day and the best uh, best way to exercise heart is through fast paced pace exercise or anaerobic exercise I'm talking about high intensity interval training or some sort of um, uh, resistance training that elevates your heart um, uh, you know to higher rate also it's amazing for the brain uh, during high uh, high pace exercise we we ingest more oxygen and oxygen goes to all parts of the body including brain brain love oxygen and brain activity will improve with uh, exercise so this is why uh, thinkers should even think more about exercising it will help your brain brain and clutter think clearly and establish those new neuron path um, 
directly or indirectly um, exercise would help with glucose blood levels and I would say it's mostly to do with diet but there's a lot of hormonal changes during exercise especially hard paced exercise fast paced exercise sorry that uh, removes uh, excess glucose or sugar from the bloodstream um, I would say if you're trying to treat type 2 diabetes without medication you still better uh, fix your diet rather than um, smash yourself at the gym but both of them in combination create powerful uh, outcome for reducing blood sugar levels and tackling type 2 diabetes exercise proven to increase or enhance your mood and, and mental health the reason is that because exercise releases um, uh, hormones during during when you exercise one of them is endorphin endorphin is really good hormone that keeps you that good feeling of well-being right plus you know when your brain is uncluttered when it's it has enough oxygen enough uh, um, blood supply so you've got that powerful combination of endorphins in your body and and clear brain which basically created a really good feeling of um, well-being um another really good reason to exercise i would say the best one uh, is increase your muscle mass and increase your bone density it's two separate mechanisms but you know as i say when you exercise and you put effort in the body and during that effort the tissues and the muscles getting broken and then they need to recover right every time that those tissues recover they become bigger and better so muscle mass is really important because uh, unless you exercise in one muscle like biceps or something that i don't recommend you would put muscle everywhere in the body and your heart is your muscle as well so you strengthen your heart as well the way the bones get in better it's totally different mechanism um Every time we do exercise, especially impact exercise, uh, our bones, if you look inside the bone, it's made, it's made like of structure, almost like an even honeycomb. And that structure during impact exercise getting micro fractures and they're easy to repair. There's nothing wrong with that. And the moment the bone repair its micro fractures, it's getting more solid, more uh, robust so if you don't exercise bones are getting smaller because the minerals getting washed out of it but if you do exercise bones getting more denser so the density of the bone is most important bit especially for aging body let's go back to um weight uh, I know that uh, we're talking about exercise uh, right now and a bit of health but weight health and exercise kind of going hand in hand I was um, I made series of videos that I, I, I tried to explain that weight gain it's a result of inflammation that your body tells you that something is not right and if person not gaining weight but they're unhealthy it's inability of body to um, to produce that sign so let's embrace weight gain we need to listen to body if you gain in weight obviously it's it's a sign that something needs to be done and usually it's to do with diet and people will say the first thing is they refer to is calories in calories out um, I would say it's most ridiculous approach I ever heard because let's focus on uh, if it's calories in calories out let's focus on simple I know example of 100 calories let's say if you eat 100 calories from donut which is 100% carbohydrates right or use 100 calories from um, protein a pure protein 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 isolate right and I'm not saying one is better one it's worse at the moment but it's just an example what your body would do with 100 calories when you eat donut right those all carbohydrates coming in they're getting converted to uh, glucose glucose will spike insulin insulin is fat storing hormone majority of those calories go straight to storage and you will be left hungry if you ingest 100 grams of protein first of all to break down protein it costs more than unit of energy inside the protein right so you already got a net loss in the calories within the body the second protein most likely unless you over consume would go into muscle building exercise within the body 
because your muscles are based from protein blocks, right? So it won't go into storage. It will go into something that the body can utilize. And because it's a long process, you won't get hungry. So you clearly can see that if you consume 100 grams from uh, pure carbohydrates, you gain weight and you won't get any minerals or vitamins. If you consume good source of uh, no, fats on proteins, you won't gain any weight because it will go into building something in a body or use for energy. And it's not clear cut. I just simplified that I want to dive into biology. But what I wanted to say is calories in, calories out and exercise for weight loss. It's the two most wrong approaches I ever seen. Right. So if you would like, if you got inspired by my transformation story, it's about understanding how your body works and not listen to what I call bro science. It's what someone said and it seemed to be plausible. So you true, it must be true because you believe, because you know, it isn't logical. You consume 100 calories, it's energy. It needs to be processed into energy. No, it doesn't work that way. And you cannot outrun poor diet. So going into gym to lose weight, it's really bad approach for weight loss. So I didn't want to confuse you. What I'm trying to say is go to gym for health purposes, for mental purposes, for bone building purposes, for muscle building purposes, but do not go to gym to lose weight, right? Lose weight in a totally different way, which is fixing your fuel. Fuel is like car. Just imagine you got the most beautiful sports car. You wouldn't go to a petrol station and put most expensive diesel in it right because it's run on high octane petrol so when you got beautiful cars your great body right or even if it's not so great it's it's i don't know but if you put wrong fuel your body would not run well so most important bit it's not a car it's a fuel car is what you already got fuel is something that you put in it so if you would like to combine exercise your diet and achieve health as a result of it, you need to understand how body works, what to do with it, and follow <coughs> excuse me, every single bit of your journey, understanding how one particular thing that you do benefit another. So I do not recommend any vigorous ex exercise. <coughs> Sorry, if you um if you unfit, right? If you unfit, your heart is covered most likely in a fat deposits around it, the liver is suffocated, right? Give yourself opportunity to get into fitness slowly. Fix your diet first, it's easy. And then go exercise. But exercise is important on its own. Nothing to do with weight loss. If you like this video, if you'd like me to talk about more about weight loss or exercise or anything else, please comment down below, subscribe to my channel, like, smash that notification bell, and I'll see you next video. Thank you so much for listening.